What's going on everyone? My name is Legit Bread and all the information that you're going to hear in this video is pretty much the definition of exclusive. Right now there's only two influencers with this exclusive X-Shot information, me being one of them, and the other Drac, the Nerf vampire himself. So it's only us who are able to relay this awesome information about the X-Shot 2019 lineup to you guys. And it's quite an honor to have this information. I actually contacted one of my X-Shot contacts and I asked him, hey, are you able to give any more information about some of the new blasters that you had at the New York Toy Fair? And instead of giving me like maybe like a one or two sentence review or recap of what they are, he sent me these internal resources with a bunch of photos and a lot of information describing them. There's one catch to this, I'm allowed to share all the information on these PDFs except for the photos. So I'm going to try to do the best I can to give you an in-depth description of them and hopefully that's good enough for you to create a mental picture of what's to come and hopefully you'll be hyped as well because I'm really excited about 2019. So without further ado, let's take a look at two brand new X-Shot lineups coming out this year. All right, so the first series we're gonna talk about is the X-Shot Laser 360 series. And from its name, you could probably guess it has to do with laser tag. Now there's a bunch of companies who've done things like this in the past, like Nerf or Laser X, all dipping their toes into the laser tag toy industry. And for the most part, I'm not a big fan of this. If I want an actual authentic laser tag experience, I would head off to a facility where they have the professional equipment and arena, but this time with X-Shot's attempt at laser tag, they're trying to bring a more fuller experience compared to some other competitors. First of all, it comes with one laser gun. I'll kind of go into it after, but it comes with this pair of goggles. So they kind of look like any regular safety goggles, but slightly bulkier because inside housed within the casing of it are three sensors. There's one sensor right on the ridge of the goggles and two sensors, one on each side of the armbands. According to X-Shot, these are 360 sensors. So basically they can detect a hit from a laser from any direction, whether the shot is coming from behind you or in front of you, whatever direction it should be able to detect that. Now this is huge because the biggest problem I found with Nerf's um, newest Laser Ops Pro line is that you actually have to shoot the blaster itself. L let me show you. For this to detect a hit, you have to hit this part of the blaster. And that isn't really true laser tag. I was going to make a video talking about this in the future, and I probably will. But that's kind of an important issue. But with these goggles, you're actually aiming for the person, which is what you would want to do in laser tag. So I think this is a really awesome concept. It's just very lightweight. It's better than wearing like patches or a vest, which doesn't even detect your whole body. I'd still rather spend my money on like dart or ball blasting blasters, but this is a cool option out there. Going over the gun itself, it doesn't look too much larger than a Kronos from this one photo on here. At the top of the blaster, there's this light and it's a life indicator so if you get hit it'll flash. There's a button on the side of the blaster which allows you to switch teams and there's a maximum of four teams. I just found that out right now so you can have a lot of people involved in this gameplay. Near the bottom of the blaster like right in front of the handle is a reload button that you can press. It also serves as a hyper mode button so you press and hold that and that activates hyper mode and I assume that's just like rapid fire shots. Um, you got laser blast sounds which you can turn on or off which is pretty handy and of course a trigger. On the side of the blaster there appears to be a panel that lights up and I'm really hoping that this panel color changes depending on which team you choose. And since there's a maximum of four teams, if this panel actually lights up we should see up to four different colors. And I think this would be a great way to distinguish who's on whose team. And I didn't mention that yet but this blast blaster is red with um, silver and black accenting. So final thoughts, I really hope that the range detection of the system is good. And of course, I really hope that this 360 sensor technology is refined and very accurate. If it is, this will bring a much fuller and more authentic laser tag experience to people's households. And if this does well, hopefully we'll see some other blasters in the 360 lineup. Maybe we'll get something like this, which is the Nerf Delta Burst, which has a higher capacity and also a higher rate of fire. But right now I can say that the Laser 360 line has all the right ingredients 
for a really good laser tag experience. This pack comes with two laser blasters and the 360 goggles for 30 bucks. Okay, that is a much better deal than I thought. Yeah, so right now this is a very reasonable price for a laser tag bundle. And assuming all goes well, this should be shipped out and available in stores in May or June. Rival killer. Maybe. So if you didn't know, quite recently at the New York Toy Fair, it was revealed at Xshot's booth that they're finally, finally making their own ball blasters to compete against the Nerf Rival line. And this is super exciting for me because I especially love the Rival line. I think it's my favorite series and I'm really excited to see that Xshot, the company that supports me and a company that I really enjoy as well, is doing their part to really disrupt the market with their own versions of Rival blasters. So I'd like to introduce you to the Xshot Chaos line. So right now they have two blasters that are coming out in May 2019. There is a pistol and also a rifle. So let's talk about the pistol first. It is called the Xshot Chaos Meteor. And if you want to create a mental picture of what it looks like, it's essentially a Kronos but with a little uh, handguard in front of it. And I just got to give a huge shout out to Xshot for these designs because man, they are top-notch, really high quality, badass looking blasters. Like you wouldn't expect to get something so good looking for the prices, which I'll talk about after. Right now, all the blasters are blue. Maybe we'll see other sub-series or other repaints of these blasters in the future. To go over more details, the Meteor is a six round internal capacity pistol. Of course, Xshot is making their own rounds. Pretty much looks like rival rounds, but with a little decals on top of it. It comes with 12 rounds, so double the capacity and some custom stickers. The Meteor is primed with the use of the top priming handle, so it's essentially X-Shot's version of the Nerf Rival Kronos, except it can hold one extra round in its internal magazine. Let's talk about the Orbit, because this blaster is pretty darn cool looking as well. For another mental picture, this blaster looks very similar to the Nerf Rival Atlas, but it has more of a protruding buttstock for you to rest against your shoulder. This blaster is pump action, and it also has an internal magazine system that holds up to 12 rounds. This blaster will also come with double the ammo, 24 rounds, and also some custom stickers. And for the people who love their stats and ranges, these ones come with advertised 100 FPS ranges. And assuming these are correct, these blasters are going to be even more powerful than Nerf rival blasters. This is always my favorite part to talk about when it comes to X-Shot blasters. Let's talk about price, and you should be pretty impressed with these two blasters. The Meteor, which is the pistol, will retail for $12.99, which is an excellent price point. It's $3 cheaper than the Kronos. It also has that six round capacity versus the five round capacity of the Kronos. And assuming that these 100 FPS ranges are correct, it's much better than the 90 FPS ranges that the Kronos has. The Orbit, which is the shotgun, retails for, get this, $19.99. Mind blown. How can a blaster of this state cost so little? And just as a comparison, I think the closest blaster or the closest equivalent in the Nerf Rival lineup is the Nerf Rival Hypnos, which came out quite recently. And that blaster cost 50 bucks. This cost $20, man. I feel like it's such a solid entry for people who are just getting into the blaster hobby or even for veterans. It just seems like an all around solid blaster. On paper, the X-Shot Chaos line looks excellent and I'm quite confident it'll be just as good once we get our hands on them in May. And of course, yes, these blasters are compatible with other rounds from different companies, so they'll work with Nerf Rival rounds and also the Adventure Force rounds as well. I have a feeling that 2019 is going to be another big year for X-Shot, and I just gotta say thank you so much for all the support on this channel. Make sure you check out my other X-Shot and Nerf videos on the screen, or click the card in the top right corner for more. If you want to buy blasters and gear, I have my affiliate links down below in the description. Thank you for watching, thank you X-Shot, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.